all right guys welcome back hey today's video let's talk about these uh, frameless gpu rigs i have why i have them and how they are working out for me these are both in my grow tent and there's three reasons why i went with these uh, f um, frameless rigs number one most importantly is cost these things are cheap and I don't want to spend money on things that are not going to make me money. A few years ago, you could buy rigs, frame rigs for under 50 bucks, right? Now you go on Amazon, which is the go-to spot, right? You're talking 250 north for just a bunch of angled iron aluminum, not iron, angled aluminum. And it's ridiculous. And it's just, it, why waste money on stuff that's not going to make you money? You're better off just lining these up and, you know, against the wall. Just don't waste money if you're in it to make money. If you want to have fancy rigs and all that stuff, go ahead and knock yourself out. But for me, low cost, save as much money as possible. Two is airflow. Uh, I'm in a limited space. Things get hot. I have a two-fold solution. One is the uh, grow tent you see these rigs in. And two is just the spacing of the GPUs allow for better airflow and keep some cool below 70 degrees Celsius, especially for these 3080 Ti's. Uh, they, you know, some of these rock Strix ones, man, they get, they just want to burn. They just want to burn hot. They just want to burn in the 70s and plus, man. You got to watch those things. So these things uh, allow the rigs. <laughs> The wireless racks allow for better airflow. All right, three, it's just simplicity. It's just easy to get at stuff, wire stuff up, connect them, connect the cables as you see here, and hang them as well. Uh, simplicity. So what are these things? Well, these are all black-coated wire shelving units I got at Home Depot. Uh, this, this one is uh, 24 inches wide. 30 inches high and I think it's 14 inches deep and it was under 30 bucks I think it was 26 bucks and I remember I went to the checkout and I had two of these these two here and the girl goes well I didn't know they had them here the checkout lady I didn't know they had those here she goes I'm gonna buy some for my house I went yeah they're cheap so 26 bucks three shelves and look what I got so I got six GPUs here these are the big boys the 3080 Ti LHR yeah I know LHR blah, blah. but they're mining 90 mega hash on ETH hash right now so I'm not complaining these are six uh, various Nvidia cards hooked into a 2013 gaming PC I built obviously in 2013 and that thing is running an Ashrock motherboard and thing is rock solid old tech seems to be the best sometimes so here I got two side by side in a grow tent and airflow is fine. Temps are fine. Uh, the uh, grow tent stays under, that eh, depends on the ambient temperature. It does get hot sometimes under a hundred. This one is a wood frame I built. We'll talk, we talked about in another video. We're not going to talk about that here, but this is a $14 wood frame. If you got to do it and you want a frame, you can build a one for 14 bucks. It's not going to take you that long or much effort. All right, so we got these. We got the uh, frameless GPU rigs. All right, how do you mount these GPUs? And I kind of touched about this before, but I purchased some of those mounting brackets there, those uh, red ones. They kind of broke. I don't know if it was from the heat or just, I don't know. There's a screw hole, and that just kind of split, and then they all started to split, and it was just not safe i guess because the gpus could have fell so I, I i left that one on but what you see now is the macgyver special three inch decking screw and the thing is solid that slips over the bar that goes through this thing's not budging and you don't need to put a bolt on the end the thing is not going anywhere uh, i have it angled for, i don't know just for airflow who knows uh, but there's a screw boy look at that solution cost effective and it works those things broke don't I hate to say it but don't spend money on stuff you don't need to it looks good it has a good concept but it just is not it's, it's not solid all right let's move on on the bottom here I got the motherboard I got your motherboard I got to mount that on the metal rack I have a uh, more 3d printed motherboard to wireframe brackets they work fine 
in general, I could have put a, you know, piece of plywood or something like here. Here is plywood with a little foam toolbox covering. That's cheap and dirty. It was just extra plywood lying around. And I had toolbox liner. That was just lying around. Go cheap, guys, man. Save money. Because right now, you want to be uh, making as much as you can while you're mining. If you're spending it on stuff that's not making you money, why? Well, I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to be the way to go. That, at least in my my uh my approach to all this over here yeah i got another little piece of block wood plywood with foam rubber on it and these are hanging there's some more of the screws holding in the gpus yeah so there you go let's go uh let's see what else can we do so i just put this one power supply on top I have another ATX in the back there and I got another power supply right there to help power all these GPUs because these GPUs are uh, 260 to 300 watts sucking power. They're power pigs. Uh, these 6600s are beautiful. They don't suck that much power. 60 and under watts. I like those. But anyway, you can see I can lay this stuff out. I didn't put anything on top of this one because these cards do generate a lot of heat, but if I wanted to, I could build myself another $14 wood <laughs> rack and slap it on here. Uh, no, no problem. I am considering getting those riserless motherboards that everyone's talking about now because it just cuts down on less cables, less parts on risers. Yeah, it's just cleaner. I mean, obviously, that seems to be the better approach these days is getting those riserless motherboards and just slapping them across, and they're longer but you have them all nice and clean, not massive cables coming out. So that's it could be another approach where you could use these racks and you could probably get one, two, three. Yeah, you could get the same approach here. Just all spread out. Yeah, it's just, it's just what you wanna do. I mean, in hindsight, I would have gotten the riserless motherboards just to save on all the extra parts you need. The risers, the, uh, uh, um, some of these, man, eh, you probably need the splitter cables, but uh, just all the cables going in and all that stuff, and just dealing with the motherboard setup to get them to recognize all the GPUs. That's all. That's just from my experience. All right, enough about that. You get the idea. Simple little rack. Let's go over here real quick. Here's the taller rack. This one is outside the grow tent. This has one, two, three. This has four shelves. This has all my CPUs on it and about four GPUs running. Uh, I will eventually take those GPUs off, and that's what I was thinking about getting a rise of this motherboard. But at this point, I don't want to spend any more money in January or February, just until we get through tax season, see how bad that's going to be, which is always bad. All right, here we go. Here is the rack. Here is the rack. This is the Home Depot rack. This one's the smaller one, the three shelver. So it's right there if you want to check it out. And they're usually in stock. No one knows about this little gem. Uh, so you can go grab it. If you see them, grab two. You know, save one for later. Because uh, they will sell out. Oh, we got 20 in stock. All right, sweet. And over here we got this one. This is a... This is the other one with the CPUs on it. 36 width. 54 height, 14 inch depth. I like the black coating better, just, I don't know. It just seems to uh, do better. I don't know, I just like the look of it. Again, same price for the uh, chrome. I think the chrome costs more. And chrome flakes off. The black anodized should uh, should uh, hold up better to abuse. <laughs> All right. This one is 64.98, this puppy. So the four one, the four shelf one, still, you go buy a uh, GPU rig, a bare bones little six GPU rig. It's gonna start at 69 bucks, I think, for a cheapy little one with just bent, uh, angled aluminum. It's just like, eh, I'd rather get this thing. And you know, worst case, say you sell all your stuff and you're done mining, hey, you got some shelving for your house, right? You put it in your pantry or your, your shed. There you go, right? Oh, uh, this one doesn't have the price. I'm, yeah, twenty nine ninety eight for this guy. This is a twenty nine ninety eight er. So, not too bad. Half the price. 
and it gets the job done. All right, just sharing, guys. Hope this helps, gives you ideas what you can do. Everyone has a different philosophy on what they want to do. Some folks want to spend lots of money and have it look real fancy, you know, like high-end stuff to run their stuff. Me, no, I just want to get this stuff functional. And that's why I always talk about this latest card I got. This is a 6600 XT. Look at that. Just a bare bones 6600 XT. No bells and whistles. Was around 500 bucks on Newegg. And the thing actually is getting better hash rate than the one, the fancy ones with all the bells and whistles. You know, by maybe 0.5 hash rate. It's not much, but it's still better. So again, I like to keep things simple. What's my, what's my expression? Uh, God, I forget it. Stuff, not fluff. You know, don't get rid of the fluff. Just give me the stuff, man. Give me the mega hash. And that's where I'm at. All right. All right. Let me know what you think. What's your rigs? Post your rigs on my Discord. I always love to see what other people are doing. And uh, let me know if you have any tips or suggestions. The screw thing's worked out well for me. It's cheap and dirty. I have no issues versus the, the other uh, plastic stuff I bought, which kind of cracks. Uh, I don't buy that stuff anymore. If I don't need it, I'm not going to buy it. If I can use even tire wraps, I'll use tire wraps. You know what I mean? Just got to get her done. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Take care.